what is up YouTube welcome back to another video today ladies and gentlemen hopefully everybody's having a great day and in today's video we got lots to do including a Q&A mukbang so I posted on my Instagram I was like yo guys uh, ask as much questions ask great questions you guys actually showed up you guys put a bunch of awesome questions and so we're gonna answer a lot of them I just grabbed the ones that were consistently asked if you that if that makes sense so like your height your height your height I just grabbed one of those and I put it there so get your popcorn kick your feet up and get ready for today's vlog one thing I've been trying to implement into my daily routine are morning walks uh, because it really gets the focus right get your mind right and then you can really focus on and plan what you have to do throughout the day like clear-minded not on your phone not doing a million things I personally think the best thing you can do in the morning is not really get on your phone maybe you can check it to see you know whatever emergencies or whatever but you don't want to get on it the first thing and just stay on it because it's really it really crowds your mind crowds you gets you busy already when the first thing you need to be doing is focusing on the tasks of the day now that can be easily contradicted right because there's super super successful people that are like the first thing I do is get on my phone check my emails make sure everything's going but then there's other people who are also super super successful that are like you know what in the morning I like I need 30 minutes to an hour just to you know get my mind right know what I want to do for the day and get to work so really the call is yours on how you want to attack your mornings but I found the more predictive I am is whenever um, that first hour of the day or whatever I'm really focused on just getting my mind right and knowing exactly what I got to do and it's not just morning walks that help you can do literally a million things like morning walks bike ride but some form of you and you time and then get to rocking and rolling guys give it a try let me know how it feels to you so now it's time to get the Q&A mukbang started but in order to have a mukbang we gotta have some special treats see if we can find any gems um, just to throw in there. I'm not big on hot stuff guys. If anybody that knows me, it gives me the bubbly guts. So we're gonna find the best things possible. Let's go. Comment down below your go-to wild snack. Mine are Christians. Would you consider goldfish a pretty crazy snack? No? No. So what What Keto. are we here for? Don't listen to this baloney, guys. Let's go. We will get... It doesn't twist. Oh my. Is... Good stuff. Give me the bubble oil, the buff for the guts. Thank you, babe. <laughs> the food? The what? The food? What's the food? The food? Oh. He a whole kid. Can't go to the store with Fidel unless you're in some type of health and wellness section. Protein. You have a problem. A good problem. It's a good problem to have, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's a good problem. <laughs> so, package secured. Now let's go answer these juicy freaking questions. So before we get this Q&A started, I want to go ahead and whip out my pickle. Ooh. Cheers. So right with that, we're going to go ahead and add some candy. So let's go ahead and get straight into questions, guys. Question number one, short-term and long-term goals. So not gonna lie to you guys, my goals change literally all the time. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
my goals change all the time, but one of my biggest goals is becoming a big inspiration for you guys, really helping you guys and showing y'all that there's a way out of anything and there's a way to anything, um, no matter what the situation is, and that you guys can become who you want to be through any endeavor. So that's one of my biggest goals is just being a motivation and inspiration to you guys. Short-term goals, just to be better than myself every single day, to get better, to become better, both mentally, physically, and emotionally, and to learn to control you know, my feelings and my aspirations, just learn to control who I am and let things out at the right time. So that should, um, but that's question number one. But before we go on to question number two, guys, let me go ahead and explain what we got. So we got some buffalo pretzel bites, some peanut butter pretzel bites. We got a chamoy pickle, some good old salt that you just throw on your tongue, mango lollipops. But time to get into question number two. What do you want to be when you were younger? Could you see yourself doing it? So I wanted to be a lot of things, a NASCAR driver, a doctor. Well, my dad wanted me to be a doctor. You know, astronaut. I wanted to be everything that, I, that seemed cool. But as I got older, I really realized that I wanted to be, one, a bodybuilder, and then two, to be a influencer and just really like be some be somebody that other people can really like depend on or look up to. Just I want to fire you guys up. I want to make you guys ready to work harder to become better and just do better. Could you see yourself being an astronaut? No. Why? Claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. Question number three. Are you from Florida? No. I love it as a vacation spot, but I was raised in Texas, so that's where I'm from. I get that asked a lot. But honestly, guys, if I had to live in one state out of the whole United States, I would still choose Texas. It's a place to be. It's beautiful here. Everybody's coming here because it's so awesome. But to answer your question, no, bro, not from Florida. Question number four. The craziest place fans have recognized you? Um, usually it's the gym. I get recognized a lot at the gym just because I obviously make fitness content. But some of the craziest times are like I'll just be chilling, driving with my buddies. And I, one time I got a DM and somebody said, hey, I saw you. I was like, yo, yo. Um, usually like the, or the grocery store, that's pretty crazy to me because, you know, I'm just buying my meals for the day and somebody be like, yo, what's up? I've seen you from Instagram and I absolutely love it. So if you guys see me in public or whatever, definitely come say hi, say what's up. I love it. But it's just, when it first started, I was super, super weirded out. I was like, whoa, like, okay. But now it's all like, I love it. So I, but I'd say the weirdest place is probably like the grocery store or like I said, somebody just, you know, take it, looking at me real quick and just DM me. So along with the grocery store, I definitely, like I was recently on vacation and me, me and my girl, we went into a, into a pizza parlor to pick up our pizza and somebody just out of nowhere said, hey bro, are you the guy from TikTok? That's usually how they, you know, say what's up to me. And I was like, oh my gosh, like definitely the grocery store or the pizza parlor guys, probably the craziest places I've been recognized so far. Natural or on roids? Guys. I do get this question a lot. And I get why, but I look natty. And if we're being honest, I look natty. To answer the question straight up, I'm natural. I've never touched steroids and I never will. Uh, there's two reasons behind that. One, I just know I can get even farther with my potential just naturally. And then two, for you guys. I wanna show you guys that you can achieve any body, literally do whatever it is you want fitness wise, as long as you're patient and you can, you're consistent and disciplined. And what I mean by that is, Obviously, you're not going to go and get a crazy body or go and hit your results overnight. But when you're patient enough and you're consistent with your diet and your workout routine, you can hit your goals. So those are the two biggest reasons why I haven't touched them. And again, like I said, I don't think they're very safe. It's not something I want to deal with uh, because I know what I can achieve naturally. I will hit any of the goals fitness-wise as long as I continue to be patient, stay on the diet, and stay consistent with my workout routine. Uh, but always natural, bro. Staying natural. And if that ever changes, I promise you. I will let you guys know. So they did pretty good. Cool. How long have you been working out? So five plus years. Um, but even before then, like I said, guys, I was really in love with fitness. So at 13 and 14, I was doing 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups every morning and night until my parents let me go at 15. So five plus years. Yes. What type of deodorant you use to stay smelling fresh? Old Spice? Aluminum free deodorants, bro? <laughs> Does your family come from Saudi Arabia or the Emirates? Neither. So my parents are from Iraq and Syria, 
That's definitely in the Middle East though. It's around those areas. Beef or chicken? Chicken. Your hype? This question got asked multiple times in the Q and A. So I'm gonna make it short and simple. I'm five foot ten, guys. Believe me or not, if you ever see me in person, I'm five foot ten. I ain't six seven. I ain't five four. I'm the beautiful height of five foot ten. Hate to be this guy, but what happened to your ear? So guys, again, a little bit on my history. I did used to wrestle guys, and whenever you're in wrestling, I mean, you can easily avoid it. It's called cauliflower ear. You can easily, easily avoid it, but I personally didn't like wearing the headgear they gave me. It was really uncomfortable, so I threw it out, and what happens is the cartilage in your ear breaks, and when it breaks, it fills up with fluid, and if you don't drain that fluid, it gets really, really hard. Um, I drained mine like roughly four or five times, but I didn't want to take off time from wrestling, so it just kept growing, and then eventually it's hard. it got hard as a rock. So it's called cauliflower ear. It comes from wrestling, and yeah, that's how I got it, man. Go get one, guys. It feels great. It feels great to have. Great conversation starter, too. Have you been gaining slash bulking? Yes and no. So I'm not like trying to go on a huge bulk and look like the Hulk, but what I am trying to do is put on muscle but stay fairly lean. So, so main gaining, and what I mean by that is high protein, mid carbs, and low fats. Uh, roughly four to five meals a day, and that's just what I've been on right now. Just because it's summertime, and no, I'm not on prep yet. I will let you guys when I'm, know when I'm on a prep. Uh, once I get this fixed up, we'll be right all ready for a prep and ready to get lean. Next question. What is your general outlook on life? So I think you should always strive to be the best version of yourself. I think you should definitely learn that in times of, in order to become something great, you have to go through obstacles. And once you go through those obstacles, you will achieve greatness. So always, always be ready to chase. Always be ready to attack the day. And always be ready to become better than your older self. So that's my general outlook. You should always try to stay as positive as possible. Um, and just become the best version of yourself possible. So those were the Instagram questions that we've got some side other questions that we're going to answer in case, you know, you guys are wondering them or are roaming around and to answer it. So next question, what's the biggest challenge of being an influencer and what's the greatest reward? So if I'm going to be completely blunt with you guys, it's the constant go, go, go. Because it's not a regular job. It's not something that you just do like whenever you feel like it. It's like something, I don't want to say you have to do it because you do it because you want to, but there's no break time. Like you've got to be putting out content. You've got to be giving your best 24 seven. But I'd say the biggest challenge is definitely having a constant drive for it. Um, because some people are like, they'll, they'll start on F and they'll hit E really, quick, really quickly. But then there's some guys that are just go, 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 stay on full all the time. So I would definitely say the constant, constant um, go work with it, but I love it. I absolutely love it. And the biggest reward I'd say is whenever it positively affects you guys. Whenever you guys like DM me like, yo bro, I really appreciate this, or yo bro, like, like the other day I sent out, I send out emails on Moon Mentality, um, daily motivation, and this guy sent me a whole email back saying how much he appreciates it, how much it may, reminds him to do better, become better. Um, think better and so whenever I get things like that it really really makes me enjoy doing this more as well as going harder on it and constantly going so I would say that's the biggest reward of being an influencer just being you while being consistent and working really hard next question guys what's one thing that hinders people from achieving their fitness goals it can go into a hundred different things but from my experience what I've seen that like kind of really messes with people the most is one, uh, results, and two, comparison, okay? So, for example, if you're trying to lose weight, a lot of people, if they don't lose that 20, 30 pounds in the first week, with his, which is asinine, it's crazy. Um, they'd be like, oh, this isn't work, or this is a problem, or, it's taking too long, I need to find another way. Excuses, excuses, excuses. The thing that people have problems with, is, like especially with fitness guys, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, y'all, and you need to know that, especially when losing weight, not much is going to happen in the first week. Not much is going to happen in the second week. But over time, you're chipping away. And then eventually, before you know it, it's been, whatever, a certain amount of months, and you're already down 20, 30 pounds. You're like, okay, like this is working, and now you start to believe in it. So definitely results, guys, hinders a lot of people because they want results instantly, instantaneous. That's not how it works with fitness. Maybe with other things, but with fitness, no. So one, be patient with it. And then two, comparison. 
People will go into the gym and be like, oh, I want to look like that guy. I don't know about my genetics. I don't know if I can do something like that. You guys got to cut that shit out. You shouldn't be comparing to yourself to anybody but you. You need to be better than you were yesterday and try to catch to you tomorrow. So that's what you really need to focus on, guys. Don't let results and comparison hinder your fitness goals because those are the two biggest things that really, really mess with people and kind of demotivate them. You want to stay on fire. You want to stay motivated. Again, results will come when you put in the work and comparison only comes to yourself. What clothing makes you feel confident in the gym? So I would definitely say I'm a really, really big fan of like, no joke, like short shorts, kind of like these in a tank with a pump cover. Those are some of my favorites. Or if it's like I want to really get a sweat on or it's a little chilly outside, I'll wear some gray sweats, tuck in the socks with another tank, or even throw a sweater on. But usually it's things like that. I really, really enjoy this clothes because it makes me feel smooth and, you know, durable, like a cheetah. I feel like I'm ready to attack. Go, go, go. But those are definitely some of my favorite. I know a lot of people are weird about short shorts. I mean, but these aren't, uh, they're not even that short, guys. They're right above the knee, which some people think are weird, uh, but I could literally care less. Those are my favorite shorts. So those and the tucked in sweats are their masterpiece. What are methods that help with overthinking and anxiety? So for me personally, um, there's a few things that you can do. One is you've got to go to the root of why you're overthinking. What's the root cause? What's bothering you about what you're thinking? So for example, somebody that wants to lose weight, um, again, the, the root cause of that, of like not wanting to do it or being afraid to do it, may come from childhood. It may come from things like that. So number one, really find out the root cause of your thinking. And then for number two, there's plenty of things you guys can do for anxiety. So it's like you can meditate. Ice cold shower, I know you guys, I don't know if you guys like that or not, but those are amazing. Ice cold shower, writing things down, writing down notes about how you feel and really express them because when you express them, it lets you know that you're like, your anxiety, it's not that big of a deal and you'll be fine. So I definitely say though, one of the biggest methods though, is just getting to the root of the problem, like knowing why you're thinking the way you're thinking, why do you feel the way you feel, and tell yourself like, you're gonna be okay. But another thing would be um, what you're eating, guys. The, the quote, you are what you eat, is very, very serious. The foods that you're ingesting, those all affect how you think, how you move, everything. So really pay attention, guys, to what you're eating. Basically, guys, the better diet you're on, the better you would feel because your diet controls your energy, your diet controls your thinking. Not literally, but when you're on fire, your energy feels great, you're thinking good. You're thinking amazing. So I would definitely say, guys, eat better, make healthier eating choices, and you'll notice a dramatic change in the way you feel and how energetic you are and so much more. So even if it's like throwing in a little bit more vegetables a day, green is king, guys. Green vegetables is king. Um, throwing some vitamins in your diet. All those can really help with overthinking and anxiety. What's a weird habit that you had that you didn't know was weird until somebody said something? When I was younger, like whatever, 15, 12, whatever, um, I really couldn't get myself to walk on grass. I know that sounds weird, but like, let's say we had a, just a, a driveway, the sidewalk into the driveway, and obviously a big corner of that is grass. I went all the way down the sidewalk, up the driveway, into the house. I just couldn't get myself to do it, and I thought that was normal until one day my brother, he was like literally just watching me. And as I approached him, he was like, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, what are you doing? And so I was like, dude, who walks on the grass? Like, that's not cool, you know, that's like weird. So. That was one thing that was really, really weird about me. I used to hate walking on grass, guys. It was really, really weird for me. Just because it's like you don't want to mess up the grass. And then on top of that, it's like there's a sidewalk. Which was harder, wrestling or bodybuilding? So, wrestling, hands down. Wrestling is not the easiest sport. I'd say wrestling was one of the hardest sports I've ever done. And it's the hardest sport ever. Um, just because it's not like football. It's not like any team sport. What I mean by that, guys, is for football, for example, there's a lot of breaks in between the downs. Uh, they can swap somebody in, swap you back in there. There's just too much breaks going on. And then the practices are fairly easy for football. Now, if you go into a wrestling room, it is like you walk into who's the best guy here. And it's a team sport, but not exactly because on the mat, when it's go time, it's you versus the person you're wrestling. You know, your buddy's not in there. Nobody's in there but you. So... I would definitely say wrestling is way harder than bodybuilding because on wrestling, like, 
usually high school matches are roughly six minutes and college matches are also like six to eight minutes whatever they are uh, but it's like constant 100 miles an hour the entire time there's no breaks maybe like a 10 second break in between the periods but i would say wrestling to me in my opinion is one of the hardest sports to exist so when i did wrestling and i came into bodybuilding i was like man like this is not that hard because in wrestling you have to diet properly in order to you know perform at your best so same thing with bodybuilding in order to look your best and perform at your best you have to eat fairly well or very well so that was like okay this is way easier than wrestling you know i'm not running 10 miles a day and it's just it's just so much smoother than wrestling but hands down wrestling is one of the hardest things i've ever done that was a lot of questions i really hope i answered a bunch of them because that's what I like doing. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed all the question answering. I hope I touched on a lot of subjects that you guys were curious about. I really, really enjoy doing things like that. So guys, comment down below what you thought of the video and what you want to see next. I really go off the y'all's comments. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. You won't regret it and like the video. Cause you know why? If you won't, chances are your mom's probably watching this and she will. See you guys in the next video.